optical art. Okay guys, in this video I'm going to give you price targets for Bitcoin. Uh, we're going to cover the, the most recent call when we're talking about this pattern we were in. Uh, also, uh, I, my next video, I have a message and a request for Bitcoin, Bitcoin well number three. There's a certain YouTuber who's been talking about that well. There are way too many coincidences, so again, in the next video, I will cover that. And I'm also going to give you uh, the bullish case and the bearish case. Now, I am bearish. I expect more, much more downside. But if you think Bitcoin has bottomed and you think we're going to go much higher and you're looking for a point to buy in and hodl, I'm going to give you that point, the bullish case where you should buy this is for spot trading. This is where you would buy and hodl and have your stop set below. And then I'll show you the bearish case where I'm expecting price to go where I will be buying in to hodl. So I'm going to cover that. I'm going to recap really quick on this. Uh, this was uh, the video I put up on March 13th. I said big, mo big move coming soon. And I was showing you a safe way to play this um, this pattern. But listen to what I said here, long and short. But I will give you uh, your key support and distance levels. But I do think there's more downside. Again, I think this is just... Price did break to the downside, but exchanges pushed it up, stopped people out for more downside. So I was expecting us to break down from this pattern. I'll put a link up to the video now and reference uh, two more parts of this video. But as you can see what happened, we, we did break down from this pattern. We found support here and pushed up. Uh, listen to what I said here. This was um, 2 minutes and 15 seconds in resistance, and this white line was our support, and currently there's our resistance. If the next candle opens below this point, we probably have some more downside. This should next support below. So I was saying your next support level below, I was expecting downside, was right here where this yellow line and this white line is what I call double support. This would be where you would buy in to write it up. This is a published version of this chart. I'm just going to show you this published on March 9th. I'm going to hit play. And I'm going to show you. So you can see right here. I mean, this is, this is a published chart. I can't edit it. But you can see this was our resistance. This was our support. We came up. We tested it. And, and where I said your support to buy in was right here. I even made a tweet about this, um, and this was this was a tweet I made. This was 21 hours ago. I said, "So now uh, is where you'd want to chance a short with a stop loss just above. If we push above, wait till we drop back below and we enter your short." And I, I mentioned this before. This is very strong resistance on the C1 chart. As long as we blow this point, I remain short. I said, "This is where you want to enter your short," and you can see what happened. We got rejected. We started coming back down. And this is how it played out. So this would have been the ideal point to enter your short. And I even made another tweet showing you, look, if we push back up, if you're not in your short, this is where you'd want to enter. If you come back up, test it as resistance. And that's what happened. We came back up, we tested as resistance. We could not get above it. And then we dropped right here. So this is where you should have entered your short. I gave you a second point to enter your short. And you can see how this played out. And I even, guys, I said, look, I said, that was a pretty pretty successful short. And I even gave you the point to buy in that I mentioned in the previous video. Right here was your support to buy in and write it up. So this is one hell of a short. And you already saw how much we pushed up. That was one hell of a long. And and we'll, we'll cover some other things as well. But you can see we pushed up. Uh, so this, again, this is this is where I was talking about, this, uh, this line right here on the C1 chart. Let me, let me play a clip of this for you. But as long as we're below this point, this is a very key resistance level. If you do have access to my charts, this is the same line on the G1 chart. So as long as we're below 39,065, I expect more downside. Uh, you could potentially catch a bounce. Uh, I do have multiple charts showing around 38,000. Uh, would be a nice point to catch a small bounce. I do expect more downside, but I'm just showing you the key support levels on this chart. Your next point to catch a bounce, 37,727. And then if you want to chance a long down here around 36,386. So saying if we break 38,000, the next point too long is 37,727 around that area. It's an angle. It depends when you make contact. But if you'll notice, you know, we came down and we found support right here, uh, 37,750. We pushed up as resistance right here. We, we, we pushed above it, dropped back down below, and then we pushed up. So this is an ideal point. So I gave you an ideal point to short. I said stay short below this line, right? We dropped down to support. You can see how much uh, support and resistance this line has been right here. That's how I knew that if we drop, that's likely a point to get back in. So that was a drop of 3.65%, uh, and that was a pump up with right from support. That was a pump of 4%. So you had 4% short, 4% pump. Just showing you actually these charts. I will come back and give you support and resistance levels. I do want to cover the bullish and the bearish case, though. Uh, and guys, just, just showing you, and we've been killing it. If you know where to short, you know where to long. And by the way, if you want to access these live charts, you can on my website. It would be pinned in the first comment description. If you use my big get affiliate link, that would be pinned in the first comment description as well. But you can see 418%, 125 times leverage, 167%, 66% leverage. So we, I mean, we've been playing the you know shorting and longing. 
So this gets on to the bullish case and the bearish case. So if, if you're a bull and you're bullish on Bitcoin and you think Bitcoin has bottomed, I'm going to show you two charts and the point where I think you should buy and hodl. This is if you're bullish. Now again, I could be wrong. I think we have much more downside. This goes on with the stock market and the DXY as well. But I'm going to tell you right now, and, and I'll show you how this, this correlates with the uh, G1 and the M1 chart. But if we do drop, and again, I'll come back and give you price targets, but I just want to show you, if, if we do drop, the, the last line that, that needs to hold, if, if, if you remain bullish and you think we can go much higher, this, this is the point I told you back here, and this, this has to do with that orange ring on the, um, the G1 chart. This is where I said to buy it around 34000 So I'm telling you, if we continue down, this is the point that you want to buy. If you think we're going much higher, this needs to hold. Right here is around 36,200, out here is around 36,600. As long as this holds, and guys, I told you in the past few videos, maybe more, that I will be buying here to, to long up to at least resistance and take profit. I do not think that this is going to hold and we're going to the moon from here. I just think this will be a temporary bounce. But if you're bullish on Bitcoin, this is the point you would buy. I'm talking about just buying in and hodling. But have your stop set somewhere below in case it does break. You don't want to have it too tight so you get stopped out. But again, this is the last line that needs to hold if you're bullish. And I'm going to show you how this correlates with another chart. This is the uh, G1 chart. I've covered this. You can go back and watch previous videos. This this uh, curve right here represents a um, FIB circle we've been respecting since the beginning of Bitcoin. And you can see this ring is right on par with, with that target I gave you on the H1 chart. You know, right here, 36,259. Now here is 36,622. At any point, you know, like I said, this is where you would have bought at 34,665. That was right on par with the H1 chart. So I'm telling you, if if we drop down to 36,800 or, or 36,636, if it's out here, it'll be more like 37,389. This will be the point that you want to buy. And if you if you're bullish, this this is the point that we would push up from. Your major resistance we need to get above. If we get above 42,184, if it's out here, 41,843, and we hold support on that point, it is very possible we have much more upside. I do not believe that's going to play out. I'm just showing you where I would buy if I was bullish and expected Bitcoin to go higher because I do believe that once we break this orange ring, your next target is the orange ring below, and I'll show you that on the um, M1 chart, and that is for the bearish scenario. So this is the uh, M1 chart, and actually I do have this. This has the actual FIB circles. I've covered this before, um, and, and I've also showed you why I believe that that we're coming down to this point. First of all, you can see this ring has been respected. All right, this is resistance. We push up to the next one is resistance. We had a drop. We got a slight rejection here. This is where I call the top, up here around 67,000. Uh, I think it was 67,000. And then we came down to this ring, and what I'm saying is, and how this works, and I'll show you this on the Dow Jones as well, once we break this ring, we're coming down to the next ring. And that's why I said your bottom target is potentially going to be around the 31st of May through the early June when we'll bottom. And I do believe that target is around 14,130. Obviously, this is the bear case. But I also told you and showed you this so many times that every single time that we bottom, we always bottom on the same trend line that was previously resistance. Resistance, this is back in 2013, flipped as support, we bottomed here. And this has happened repeatedly. And notice that the angle, the angle of this line, these FIB channels are all connected. The line is the exact same. The, all of these white lines here that was resistance and support are parallel. So this white line right here is parallel to this white line right here. Now, it was created using these FIB channels. But the same thing right here, guys, this was resistance. Right, and it flipped out support. We bottomed on that same trend line, and the same thing happened uh, when we topped out on 14k. This was in 2019. It was resistance, flipped out support, as support, and we bottomed on that same trend line. Happened to be where the um, 300 weekly moving average is, and I believe the same thing is going to play out. And again, if you have to understand, if, if we're entering a bear market with the indices, I I believe that's why we're headed much lower. That's what I'm saying. Look, if you should have already bought in at 34,000 if, if you're bullish. Your next point to buy in, again, is going to be around 36,262 up to 37,137. This has to hold. If this orange ring breaks, the next point I believe we're going to bottom is around 14,000. And the reason I say this is because this previously was our resistance. 
And remember, these white lines are parallel to the same ones 2013, um, 2017, 2019. Previous resistance will flip as support. It, I mean, that's, that's what I'm showing you. Every time we bottom, previous resistance will flip as support. So I believe that we will potentially come down and bottom at this target. That is my bearish scenario. I believe that is where we are headed. But again, if you're bullish, this is the point you want to buy, guys. Have the H1 chart open and then one chart, the G1 chart. This is this is where you need this needs to hold for us to go higher. Once we break this point, guys, I think we are headed to this point. And again, that date right here is 31st of May, 2022. So again, we're getting very close to this apex. Uh, right here, I've showed you this. Um, this is why I'm very bearish on Bitcoin. This is why I believe we have a lot more downside. I've showed you. I, I'd have to zoom in here, but. We basically had a cross on the the uh, moving averages in the MACD. We dropped sixty percent from this point to put in our bottom. That was well, actually that was that was a seventy four percent drop. Right here, we had a cross on the moving averages on the MACD. This is on the monthly, by the way. And then from that point, we dropped a total of around sixty one percent. And right over here, guys, we just had another cross right here on the moving averages on the MACD. And I'm telling you, uh, my target is right on par, right down to the 200 weekly moving average, about a 67% drop. So I do believe we have a lot more downside. This is the bearish case. I've covered this chart before, the same thing going on with the Dow Jones. I know I, 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 the reason I uh, charted the Dow Jones is because there's a lot more data going back. But I mentioned that this ring, when we made contact, this was going to trigger the drop and you can see what's happening we've been bouncing down this ring right and at any point we break this ring your major downside targets down here and that would be catastrophic for Bitcoin and look at this cross we just had on the monthly just like we had a cross back here right that's when we had our COVID crash we, we dropped a total of 37.50 percent so I'm just telling you it looks bearish for the stock market you've already Bitcoin's already down from what sixty nine thousand dollars I mean I just I don't know why people would be bullish, but I do I just want to give you the bullish case just to know where to buy if if you do believe it's going to go higher. But I believe we're going much lower. Um, and this right here, guys, this is just uh, you know can you see this is possibly a head and shoulders? This is your left shoulder, your head, your right shoulder. You can see this yellow line is your neckline. So just going from this point to this point, and we come down. Your target is is this support level right here. And I know this has been strong support, guys. If you understand how I create these charts, when we go back, you can see this has been a lot of support and resistance going way the hell back. I mean, that I create all these charts based off of important trend lines. So we know if it gets bearish, your first target down below for the Dow Jones is going to be down here around potentially 31,226. If it's out here, 31,359. But just like I showed you on that Bitcoin chart, you go from ring to ring. We've been expecting these orange flip circles. So if, if we stay below this orange ring, your next target ultimately is down here. And guys, this is around 28,226. And that's not even the lowest we're going to go. If, if this plays out, guys, your ultimate downside target for the Dow before we recover could be potentially all the way down here at 20,500. And I'm just saying, we just got a monthly cross. I mean, with everything that's going on, you got supply chain issues, you got inflation, you got war between Russia and Ukraine. There's so much stuff going on. There's no reason to be bullish on the markets. And, and you have to understand, Bitcoin follows the markets. If the markets come down, and look how much the Dow's already come down. The Nasdaq's down, the S&P's down, and Bitcoin's been coming down as well. Uh, so I've covered this. Uh, the DXY continues up. You see we're getting a drop right now. Your next support to watch for the DXY is right here around um, uh, 98.47. And if we hold support and push up higher, that's going to be bearish for Bitcoin. Obviously, if we break 98.46 and the dollar continues down, that's going to be bullish for Bitcoin. So I just, want you, I just want you to understand, you know, follow the DXY, follow the markets. If the markets come down, Bitcoin's coming down with it. So let me give you your key support and just levels pay attention to. So you can see we're already breaking support here at 38,855. Well, we know on the C1BG chart, your next support level too long is going to be right here at 37,906. If that breaks, your next point too long is going to be right here at 37,500. If for some reason we push back up, well, you know your next resistance on this chart to potentially short is 39,718. Uh, this was the published version. So this is the uh, C1 chart. You know, if you come down, your next support to catch a bounce is 38,200. Your current resistance right now is 38,900. So out here, resistance is 38,850. 
If we drop, well, you know, we call it nice support right here, 37,740. So next point to catch a balance is 37,589. And your next major support, double support, guys. We got a support level uh, in this direction, right? And you got this white line. So this would be double support. Nice point to catch a balance, 36,232. If we pushed up, you know, and, and it gets bullish all of a sudden, markets start pushing up. Your next major resistance on this chart is 40,635. Uh, this chart right here, so again guys, and, and I'm trying to make this very clear, this this H1 chart is right on par with that ring. If we drop, I will go in with a heavy long. This this line is at somewhat of an angle. If we drop straight down, very unlikely, 36,073. But again, something more realistic, you know, if we if we push up and come back down and just bounce back between the back and forth between these lines, 36,373 out here, 36,643, that is the next point you want to buy if you're bullish on Bitcoin. This is where you want to buy. I will long this. I will buy in, but I will take my profit because I expect more downside. If you're bullish and you expect this to go higher, this is where you want to buy in and hodl, but have a stop loss set below just to protect yourself. Uh, your current um, support on this chart, your next support level is 38,250. You can see your current resistance now, we're below this, is 38,903. And your next resistance above, guys, is right here at... Uh, 39,630. So those are your key support just to pay attention to. And and again guys, I'm just I'm just showing you it looks like we are caught between this is our resistance right here and this ring is our support. This has been support. So this is this is the pattern we're in. So something's got to give soon. The apex is about 40 days away. I think it's likely within the next, you know, 21 days to less than a month. We're either going to break this support and then the capitulation begins. Or if you're bullish and you expect more upside, if we get above uh, 42,000 around this area and hold support, then we have more upside. But again, just with what's going on with global, the global markets and the economy, I think it's just more, much more likely we have some downside. But again, guys, if you want to access these charts, websites, opticrypto.com, link the pin for us, comment, description. And if you do want to access my, um, if you want to, uh, sign up for Big Get, my affiliate link in the pinned first comment description. Guys, that's it to the next video. And in the next video, um, I will uh, make that video um, about that uh, Bitcoin well number three. All right, guys, that's it. Trade safe, trade smart. I'm out.